Good morning folks, it's actually afternoon. You had a lucky escape there, Sean and Paul did. So, uh, yeah, had a bit of a get together with Stu earlier on. Uh, we've made ourselves a bit of a to-do list. Here are just a few things that we uh, have to do. As you can see, it's somewhat comprehensive. How much is it gonna cost? No doubt a freaking fortune. Gemma's also just brought me a sandwich around. So I'm just getting some uh, some bits, some bits to go with my sandwich. Always like bits from Chippy. Hey, look at this. Beautiful stuff. Ugh. So yeah, while I've got time, cleaning out all of this kind of tackle. Oh my gosh. There we go. Pop that down there. Need to try and get this out. I think that'll all come out in one. What do you reckon, folks? In fact, what am I holding you for? Put you on the tripod. So this, ugh, should, oh, here we go. Beautiful. That comes out nicely. And if we get our bag, <laughs> Look at that! There's a friggin' chip in there. No. This one's not too bad. A few little bits in the bottom. Beautiful, Lord. Beautiful. So that's going to be one hell of a job, I think, cleaning all of this equipment up, but it's certainly not for today. Or is it? Or is it? I suppose there's not a lot I can do up at the pub until we've got the coolers and the fridges to build the bar around. Oh, I don't know. Decisions, decisions. What do we do first? Have a sandwich, I think. So I'm sitting down putting crumbs in my hair. Sitting down for a nice ham salad on a whole meal with my audience down here, chance of pants. So I'll have a quickly run down what we've done this morning uh, and this afternoon, which is spend a lot of money, frankly. So, as I quickly mentioned yesterday, Stuart's got a friend from uni, I think he's from uni. He's lent us 10 grand for the refurb. Fire! <laughs> so he's lent us 10 grand for the refurb, so we're quickly spending it. Uh, I thought I'd run across some of the things that we're having to purchase and some of the cost. So, as you all know, we need a new cellar cooler. We don't have one in place that works. We're gonna use a company called Valand Limited, they're based in Falkingham in Lincolnshire. These guys have quoted us for a four kilowatt unit, 1,795 pounds, including VAT, that's 2,154 quid. We have to pay for that. Don't really wanna take that out of the budget, so I'm speaking to a company called Kennet Leasing to see if they'll put this on asset finance for us. I've spoken to them and James at Volland and it both, both of them look like a yes. So that's good. We've got a to-do list which we put together this morning, comprehensive. We've also bought uh, a remote cooler, a Vision, uh, Max Ice Scotsman 10 line cooler uh, from, we've got to pick it up from Grimsby that costs four, £314 and it's got a heat dump this one which is pretty cool and we bought an um, MF product beer cooler which is going to cool the cask line python because you don't want it too cold but you do want it cold 
this has a temperature readout on it that you can set so it gets to the temperature you want uh, that one cost us I think uh, yeah that one cost us 120 quid 126 quid and then we bought some beer python I've got two 10 meter, 9 meter lengths of 14 line python for 71 pound one 10 meter length of 10 line python for the cask that was 40 quid and one 10 meter length of 6 line python that was 30 quid they do have the recirculating tubes in there as well so I've got to go and pick them up the chillers from Oldham and the python is from Bolton so again more driving I think Stuart's going to pick that up on Friday on our cask the vacant and uh, the best bitter and then we've been on bidspotter.com it's actually .co.uk and on there we've bought three fridges uh, two of them are sliding door black back bar fridges we paid 65 and 70 quid for those and then we've got a stainless steel three door free fridge for the kitchen under counter height actually got that one for 38 quid plus taxes and then we also bought um, what was the other thing off of there a new glass washer that was it so you saw me playing about with the glass washer the other day well, we got a new glass washer for £150, not new, second hand. But this was, uh, this looks like a good piece of kit, better than the one we've got. So, in total, this Sheffield liquidation auction that we've been on to, we're spending £464 there for three fridges and a glass washer. I don't think that's too bad. And then on eBay, I managed to buy uh, 11 fob detectors, I need 14 but I, pay, I got 11 fob detectors for about uh, £100 I've also got to buy some Flowjet G56 pumps I need 22 of them to pump the beer upstairs and I've got 5 here that was given to me quite a while back by one of the subscribers but they are in desperate need of refurbishment they might not work I managed to get 13 on eBay. Uh, the 13 on eBay cost me um, one, two, about 200 quid for 13 of them. I need 22. Uh, and what else have I bought? I also need some Flowjet Pump 5000 130s for pumping cider upstairs. That's a big job. Then we need some uh, check valves. I bought some I bought 15 race spirals cask ventilators for a hundred pounds expensive but you don't throw them away you keep them uh, we need some hot filters single cask tap with three-quarter BSP threads cask nuts three-quarter BSP cask tail three-quarter BSP I need some regulators I found some reconditioned PS114 regulators for £15 each plus that 16 of them I'm going to need I think need some primary regs I'm hoping I can use the ones that we've got already in the brew shed and uh, I don't think we're going to run anything on nitrogen but you never know what we might do need some check valves did I mention that and uh, we're also looking for another beer cooler a remote chilled beer cooler. I'm bidding on one at the moment which is in Birmingham. The guy's not got the best feedback. He's at 96, 97% feedback on eBay. And it was over a chiller as well, so we might be taking a bit of a punt with this one. But yeah. A lot of spending today. A lot of spending. Right. I'm gonna eat my sandwich. I'm on a salad. Now you might think me mad folks. I've just come to change the light fitting in here, right? You can see the patch that's gone on there. You can see the state of this. 
all this here, all this hanging down here. And this is where we patched the kitchen upstairs. You caught a crawl yesterday, day before. Rust on the nails, look. That says it all, rust on the nails. So I have a feeling that I want to open this up. Yes, I do. I want to pull all this ceiling off and reboard it. You might think I'm mad. Haven't you got enough on? You might say to yourself. Imagine doing this when we're trying to run a bar and kitchen. It needs doing now, I think. So, I reckon I'm within my right mind to do it. Like that, it's how much, it's, it's a pound for a 90 degree elbow. That's all it needed. That's all it needed. So all these little bits, I'm gonna go ahead and do it, folks. What's this cable here, look? Red twin and earth. Let's go around the other side. Where does that run to? Surprise, surprise. Chopped off by the looks of it. Red twin and earth. Could be that one. Could be that. But we know for a fact that it's not that. Look at this. Does that strike you as bloody crazy or what? So you know what I'm like. I'm a freaking perfectionist when it comes to shit like this. I'm gonna have to sort it, folks. I'm gonna have to sort it. Wow. Well, it's not every day you have to unscrew a nail like you thought, is it? Uh, I think I've burst my night air souls. I think I'll get a refund on that. I don't know. Bit of a twat, isn't it? Here we are. Right, I'll take you through there then. I'll show you what I've just done. Always with the PPE, folks. Hey. Right. I'll put the worst of the ceiling down. It's not that bad. Might look pretty bad to you, but honestly, it's not that bad. The good thing is, we have cleared all the shit. You can see the repair look, this is underneath. This is where I repaired the kitchen floor the other day. You can see we've got solid timber joists there, they're pretty new. That section must be new. This is the old section, so you can see why they've been wanting to replace them. They're looking pretty old, but... I'm surprised that they finished this job off there and just left that shitty section. So it looks like I had a set of cowboys in doing whatever they did. So don't worry. Don't worry. I'll fix it for you. I'll fuck about them. So I decided to go a little bit further with it just to explore exactly what's going on with these joists. So you can see where they've had the leak around the sink area that everything really does look quite knackered. But that joist looks fine and that joist looks fine apart from just a little bit of rot on the top. But as we come back with one of the most rotten looking joists which is still quite structurally sound I might add we come back here and look at the transformation. They look practically new. So I have a funny feeling that we are possibly looking at a bit of a bodge job just to cover up a collapsed ceiling after a leak and I think whoever's done it as uh, well they're not tradesmen that's for sure they're not properly trained to put this kind of flooring in without a doubt so I'm going to expose what I can we'll probably shore up anything that's looking a little bit worse for wear we could just double up along the side of these beams and bolt them through if we had to do that. But like I say, they're not soft. It's solid timber up there, it really is solid. So I think apart from a little bit of surface uh, rot, it's more aesthetic. Seems to be that all the damage was just along the top edge of the boards and the floorboards. So I'm gonna continue removing the rest of this ceiling. We'll completely expose it 
we'll be able to see what we're dealing with then. Look at that, they're using slate to level the floor. Slate to level the floor on a timber floor. Joist hanger, joist hanger, no joist hanger. Yeah, you have to question the ability of how to put this floor in, don't you? So anyway, we'll get this pulled out and we'll come back in a couple of minutes and have another look. I'm really quite pleased with myself if I do say so. Myself. <laughs> so look at that. All the ceiling is down. All the crap is gone. We can see that actually the joists are fine. We're nothing to worry about. This one has been removed at some point, replaced and bolstered against this one. These are the originals, perfectly fine. And as you can see on the floor, all of the dirt is gone. Hi, I'm Barry Scott. All right there, gems. Just in case of pushing it all out that hole in the wall again, just down there, and then we are ready to go home, my darling. Isn't that right? It is. It is right. It is. Stop hiding, will you? Okay. Everyone misses you in the vlog. I'm sure they do. Can you stop pointing it at me? Oh, sorry. I'm pointing what at you? Oh, you mean the camera? Yeah. I beg your pardon. Yeah. Sorry. So, we're done. We're done. We're done. That cellar is now ready to have the light fittings put up in that section at least and be painted and yes, ready to be fitted out. And also, the FVs are behaving. Check it out. FV1 is sitting pretty. Oh yeah, you focus on that, Shamon. He's at 9.9. .9. FV2, 9.9. .9. And FV3, racing away at 9.5. So these will be coming out on Friday in two. These bad boys. Yes, sir. -y. Into these bad boys. Shamone. Right, I'm going to see if Gemma will kindly buy me some cider. We're going to lock up and we're going to go home and drink said cider, edit the vlog, and then eat some food, have a shower, go to bed. Maybe a poo in the interim. But that's all for today. We'll see you tomorrow. Look at the face. Let's brighten this up. Oh my god, chim chimney, chim chimney, chim chim jury. Oh, bonus footage, folks, from your friendly chimney sweep. Before we wrap it up, I know I've already done that. Uh, whoa. Knox County Council transferred to secondary school year seven for Dominic. Not this year, though, for next year. So Gemma's having a wobble, aren't you, love? A little, little she's, big wobble. She's having a wobble. Hey. One year closer to box, love. I'm not worried about that. <laughs> and I'd also like to say a big thanks to Sambo for bringing us these. My hands are dirty. Will you get that croissant out and just show everybody this croissant? Holy schmoly! Probably the biggest one I've ever seen. I've never put it like a big smile on your face. Yeah. That's a humongous croissant! <laughs> Gemma's got a big head as well. Look at moustache. Moustache, hurry up. And he's also brought us a large Stilton pork pie from Welbeck Abbey. I'm gonna have tr well. Shall we dive straight in? I should really wash my hands. Jen can cut me a piece off. We love a bit of bonus footage in this house. We do, we do. Stilton pork pie, oh my gosh. It's Stilton tot. You are seeing this, right? Just a sliver, just a real thin sliver, because I'm uh, obviously like having tea. Holy schmoly. Oh my god! <laughs> my god. I mean, I'm a lover of cheese anyway. But when you've had salad sandwich at work, and it is half past seven. And you've been jet washing all day. Oh. Sam, that's pretty lovely. 
Cheers, mate. Oh, yeah, pint. Happy birthday. That's it for this one. <laughs>